All right there guys, thanks for tuning in again. This is Red Tail Ray. I'm um, showing you guys just quickly here, uh, precursor to my finished workbench. I did end up uh, throwing a couple more of the 2x6s. I raised that one up like I said I was going to do in the last video. I made that flush for a nice for a nice shelf system. And that's uh, approximately almost two feet off the ground. And then the top one I reinforced instead of adding the leg in the middle here and blocking off some of my, some of my shelf access. Um, for support and for strength, I added a 2x6 to the solid door for the top. I also <coughs> cut out and leveled off my bench vise, um, which has been a really, really um, awesome tool. can't tell you how many things and how many projects I've used. Um, get, a vent, get a vise, get a bench vise, very helpful. Uh, but the point of this video, what I want to show you guys tonight, is uh, one of the many, many things, and I'll probably do some videos on things that I've learned when I moved out to the country is mouse traps. Uh, I've had very, very limited experience in my life, um, in my 31 years here on this planet, with mice and mice problems, but out here in the country when they start cutting down hay and straw and clearing up the fields, uh, corn harvest hasn't started yet, but it did just turn uh, into September uh, just two days ago. so. Um, when they start doing that, all those field mice need a place to go, and the field mice encroach on the regular gray or small house mice. Um, and let's see, since we moved in just over a month, month and a half ago, something like that, actually two months ago now, um, gotten seven mice. Um, first week we were in here, our cat tanker, who's a 20... Five pound tabby cat. He got three in three different nights. Um, and I got one with a mouse trap here out in the garage. And then um, two nights ago, about a few weeks later, from that initial move in, um, Tanker rallied, completely rallied, and then beat his number or, or rematched his number and got three mice in one night and uh, heard him scurrying through the walls. So we definitely are having him come in. Um, and that sucks. So I put out a few more traps and I've already snapped um, it's probably four times the size of a brown pregnant field mouse than the regular small little gray mice that you see in your house. But this guy or this girl was looking to post up in my garage and number one bait that I've ever heard of and uh, or used myself is just a little bit of peanut butter in these mouse traps. And if you look at them, um, they're all set. I'll go through boring how to set a mouse trap. You guys can figure that part out. Um, but there's trigger areas on the paddles. Um, what some people use for like the actual bait. But I, I really like to ensure that these tiny little holes. You can kind of see like the, the Lego blocks. That's where I pour the bait. So they're actually right up in there, um, as far as they can get when they when they step on it or uh, nudge the trigger and release the snap. Um, so just to show you guys, to figure out how to prop this up. I'm going to show you guys the quickest and easiest way to, uh, that I've ever found to load these mouse traps. Alright, so what I got here, as I showed you, I got a Ziploc bag. And it's got peanut butter in it. Tiny little amount. I actually got way too much for tonight's adventure. Um, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to snip the end off this. You could do this side with this and get peanut butter in your knife. But snip the end off this side of the bag and work just like toothpaste the peanut butter to the other side and pipe it like a pastry piping bag um, into these tiny little traps with just tiny little holes. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my pocket knife. Tiny little corner off. Very, very tiny, minutely tiny corner piece off. You can see that there. Just like the sliver of the bag. I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to work this peanut butter down to that side. It's just there at the tip. Now, you can do this while the traps are in place, but I've found that um, setting the triggered traps actually works. And just as easily if you're if you're careful. Um, just kind of pipe them into that little area right there. Just enough to fill that cube 
give off plenty of scent but not too much you don't want to spill this stuff um, peanut butter or any of your uh, bait whatever you might be using cheese or whatever I don't even know what other people use out there but um, if you spill it or get it on the actual trap itself or get it close to the ground um, ants will get to it really really quickly um, pick up on that stuff very experienced a little bit of that too ants are stealing my bait at night Oops, see, and I just dripped on that guy that's sucky but not the end of the world so here you go there's a piping bag mouse trap filler setter whatever you want to call it I got all these mouse traps perfectly filled right up to the brim of their little cups some I went over on just a little bit but that's okay and that's all I did. I just cut the corner off of the Ziploc bag. Let me know what you guys think. See you guys in the next video.